Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll take a look at how to use the built-in web user interface that's integrated into several of Trimble's R-series receivers. We'll use that to make a wireless connection between my computer and an R12i receiver. And then we'll use that web user interface to install a Trimble RTX option code to activate an RTX subscription on this receiver. So to begin with, I have an R12i receiver on the desk next to me. Uh, it's up and running. I just recently reset that receiver. That takes the username and password back to its default settings. More on that in just a little bit. And, uh, and more on resets in a different video. Uh, we have that as well. But in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to initiate this connection by going to my internet settings on my computer. And there, what I'm going to see is a variety of different uh, connection capabilities, but included in that is the Trimble GNSS receiver that's operating next to my desk here. It turns out that sends out a short range Wi Fi signal. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on that and connect. And that typically takes a minute. But once it does connect, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a browser on my computer. I typically use Google Chrome, but other browsers will work as well. And uh, I'm going to type in a specific IP address when I do. And that IP address will be 192.168.142.1. Again, that's 192.168.142.1. And that IP address is used for several of Trimble's R-series receivers, including the R10, R12, and R12i. So now that that's connected, let's go ahead and open up Google Chrome. And I'm just going to open up a new window here. And I'm going to go ahead and type in that uh, IP address. So there we go, 192.168.142.1. And when I do, I'm going to be prompted for a login username and password. And because I just reset this receiver, I'm going to put in the default username, which is admin, A-D-M-I-N, lowercase, and I'm going to put in a default password of password, lowercase p-a-s-s-w-o-r-d. And when I hit OK, I'm going to be prompted to put in a new password. Let me close that out. Let's put in that old password of password. And I have a new password that I sometimes use here, so let's go ahead and put that one in. And you're going to need to use a combination of uppercase and lowercase letters, as well as some numbers and one special character. So all right, so let's go ahead and we're going to update that. And when the software opens up, it's going to prompt me for this access point configuration. I'm just going to go ahead and cancel out of that. I'm going to ignore it. And when I do, I'll have a variety of options on the left-hand side. And you can use these to do a lot of configuration and checking on the receiver. But what we're going to do for this one is we're going to go into receiver status. And we're going to go ahead and select the receiver options choice. And this is going to show us the different options that are installed on this particular receiver. Now, I just received an email with a, an activation code for a Trimble RTX subscription. That's one of the possible correction services that can be applied on this receiver. And I want to go ahead and get that option code and uh, upload it into the receiver. And that's going to happen right here at the option code. So let me go to my email for just a moment. I'm going to go ahead and find this email from Trimble's Correction Services. Oops, let's see if I can make that a little larger. And that will be the activation code that I'm looking for there that's highlighted. Let's go ahead and copy that. And then let's go ahead and return back to our receiver options. Let's paste that. I'm going to go ahead and right click. Let's go ahead and paste that. And now what let's do is let's go ahead and upload that into the receiver. So I'm going to go ahead and select the install options choice. And it's giving me a prompt that I need to reset the receiver after all options have been loaded. Let's go ahead and hit OK to that. And let's go ahead and hit that install options. 
Now you can actually see that it already put in that center point RTX fast. It says subscribed and it's showing me the new expiration date on that one. But just to make sure, I'm going to go ahead and hit install options again and we should be good to go. So, so that pretty much does it. Now just as a check, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, log off here and then I'm going to reboot the receiver and uh, log in again just to verify that that's going on. But there you pretty much have it. That's how you would activate a subscription and you should be good to go. So hope that helps and we will see you next time.